previously. At this rate, the only thing I can come up with is that this is a fellow masochist, but I'm not seeing the synergy here. Parasomnia Pillow! On Master Duel Masochist. It was, in fact, another masochist. Unless they are just playing the craziest deck imaginable, I cannot imagine any sane human playing a deck like this uh, willingly. Uh, and it has a lot of the same cards. What is a deck? A collection of cards that is an extension of the player? A tool used to win tournaments? A reflection of oneself? What gives a deck meaning? The individual cards? The number of victories? Or what about the will to never give up. Does a deck inherently possess meaning, or do we as players assign meaning to the deck? Can we create meaning from nothing? What if we created a new Master Duel account, ignored the starter decks, and restricted the account to the minimum amount of Master Packs possible to create a legal, although not necessarily playable deck of 40 main deck cards and throw ourselves into ranked? If we somehow miraculously defeat an opponent, we can upgrade our deck with one additional Master Pack. Can we achieve something like this in Master Duel that only a masochist would try? I guess there's only one way to find out. This is Master Duel Masochist. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. The climb begins now. We are in gold five. We have a long way to go to get to platinum. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a good day. Let's see what happens. Big boy. If I have a special summonable monster, I think we win this. Technically, that's special summonable. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, 3,500. If it's destroyed by a card effect, it would not be destroyed. And can make a second attack each battle phase, huh? Okay, so what I think we do is we just set Staplin and we set the fort. <sighs> they waste their normal here. Do I just Utopian Aura this? This can't attack me anyway. If I fog blade it. Yeah, I think I actually just negate it straight up. I think I have to fog blade this. Otherwise, I mean, I guess I don't technically have to. I do have shape sister. I'd like to like preserve. Yeah, let's let's just fog blade. I just realized I can kill this in battle. What I could actually do is I could actually use Aether to banish the Scarecrow and then just attack over Big Benke. Right? I like to banish Big Benke, if I'm being honest, but if I want to clear the board entirely, I almost feel like I have to do it this way. Okay, let's try it. We'll banish that. Oh, I can't attack because of the fog blade. Oh, fuck. Well, there goes that plan. I knew there was a reason I wanted to do this in the opposite order. Well, even so, I couldn't have cleared the fucking scarecrow anyway. So I may as well just do this. Honestly, I'm just going to hope they don't read the card. Another scales, by the way. Well, now all they need is to make the Harpy's Feather Duster guy, and it's over. Oh, 
Oh, clearly they didn't read, so that's good. Ooh, they did read. I stand corrected. Okay. On the plus side, I can get in for a crap ton of damage hitting this wagon. It's not a bad card. That actually protects me now that I think about it. We just hit, right? Unless I'm missing something. Okay, so best case scenario now is they try to set up for like some sort of synchro play and then we catch them with one of the monsters being in attack position and then we can just get in because Aether's what, 46 with the sword? So we need a zero attack monster in attack position and we can win the game. The other issue is we're playing super heavy samurai of all things, so unlikely, but possible. I'm not gonna lie, I almost want to Spellbound here just to hit in again with Aether. I don't really think there's gonna be another opportunity to get in for like such a big amount of damage. They're not really gonna play anything else in attack position. So if I Spellbound at the end of this resolution of the chain, we get in for a huge amount of damage and then this becomes winnable. I'll try it. They're probably just going to put this on Big Benkei, and then I have, like, no out. Or the Scarecrow. Oh, they're putting it on Scales. Okay. How? How? We still had a game! I'm not complaining, but, like, okay. I guess we take those, right? All right, first win in gold, I guess. Let's go shopping. All right, Master Pack. Show me the goods. We are in gold. Please give us some good cards. Hypa. This card's not good. Bujin Cansendence. Candescence. Bujin Candescence. It's a Bujin card. We're not playing it anyway. Kwaki Meru. Basically unplayable. Another. Okay. What are the chances we've got two Karakuri cards in one pack? That's insane. Never seen this card before. It's a tuner, which is kind of cool, but I don't think we're going to play it. A Makanko card. Mortronic Cord. EMR. Tribute a machine. Target a card on the field for every 1,000 original attack of the tributed monster. Destroy those cards. How many machines do we have? We have like Anchor Drill. I think like Egghead. I'm going to have to take a look. If anything, this is like, it's bad. Don't get me wrong. But if anything, it's like bad. I don't want to say it's Raigeki Break because you need to tribute the monster. It's like a it's like a bad Gemini Spark. That's like the better way to look at this. I don't think we have big machines. I, big Core actually. Wait, hold up. Big Core MK3 is 2700. So then it becomes like a two for two with that. I'm gonna take a look. Before we get to that though, let me go ahead and check out the legacy packs. I think we got three of them as a matter of fact, and we did. Maybe these will be a bit more forgiving. Recycle? Nope. Secret skills of the six samurai. Both of those cards are not going to do us any good. That card is useless. Guardian Sphinx is kind of hype. I'm not going to lie. This card in, in like limited, Guardian Sphinx is actually a beast. I think it's just a bit too slow for Master Duel, sadly. Earthquake Giant. Okay. And another copy of Level Resist Wall. I haven't really gotten to try this card out at all anyway, but I'm kind of curious how it's played out for us whatsoever. So maybe I'll play another copy of this if it ends up being good, but uh, those weren't too great. So I'm just quickly checking out my machines. I actually have a few decent ones. Anchor Drill's just an 1800. We're playing 1800s that have like some relevant text. Uh, MK3 is 2700, which is actually pretty relevant because that means it could pop two cards if we sack this off. So let's say we attack with it a couple times. It's down to one or zero counters. We EMR it. We pop two cards with it as well. That's some pretty good value, especially because it would die off anyway. Uh, Kendama is technically a target for it, although we'd have to synchro summon it, which makes it a bit rough. But then we also have Jumbo Drill, which is kind of funny because like it can get its attack and go to defense. They try to do something, we EMR. 
That could be a play. We also have Harley Yard, which we were playing before, but it's just an 1800 at the end of the day. And Morphtronic Staplin as well is also a machine. So at the very least, it could be used to pop something else. Those are honestly like our best machines though. Everything else isn't particularly good. So it's tough. I feel like if we get more machines and we can just kind of go all in on that strategy, I guess I'm... I don't think I have any others in the deck already, do I? I don't know. I feel like we'd need like a high enough density of machines to really make that card worth playing. So I think we'll give it a pass for now. Do I have a single level three in my deck? It'd be cool to level resist while Goki Rescorpio into Herald and any three at that point. Well, they're playing real cards, so this shouldn't go well. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm happy they took the Ash because that means that that's one less card I have to worry about. What makes me nervous though is that means they probably already have full combo. Or they're just setting. Or they're just setting. All right, hold up. They have to have something. They have to have something. All right, we're getting in. Maxi. Or this. Okay, sure. This thing has 2,900 defense. That is huge. Okay. Uh, we're going to get rid of that. <laughs> they can draw that for turn. That's totally fine. Uh, I think I'm actually... I don't really have anything for Smoke Mosquito right now. Let me get rid of that. They could just have a card that flips it. Yeah, I figured. God, that thing was level seven too. They get to summon a bunch of guys. Well, we tried. And I guess we can try attacking. I mean, I could spellbound this. They could just do it next turn, honestly. So does it really matter? Screw it. Does this force them to fuse from hand? Oh, that's face up monster. So it forces them to fuse with the face down ones. Okay, let's be honest. This does not matter. I'm, I'm losing this 100%. Yeah, I'm just dead. I'm just, I'm straight up dead. I can't beat that. <laughs>
I mean, so they probably have Metal Reflect Slime, I imagine. Surely they're going to activate it. I'm curious what this set is that they didn't want me attacking. Now they're lost winding me. Okay. I don't exactly know how we're outing Metal Reflect Slime. Tackle Crusader can technically bounce it. Where are we going with this? I figured that was coming. Can't be killed by battle. How are we going to out this? How exactly are we going to out this thing? I mean, that's a solution. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's go secret now. I'm glad I made this. I think I want to take out the Phoenix just in case they have any weird link climbing they can do. That's annoying. Oh, they're linking. I actually think I have a play here. Oh, I really hope this doesn't conflict the way I want it to. It's such an easy card to kill. Yeah, we'll let it go. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. My concern is that now the World Legacy Secret is just sitting on the field, I can't resurrect my Kendama because I can't control any cards. That is the worst draw right now. I needed a monster and I would have felt pretty good about it. I'm not dead for what it's worth. I have a cylinder that I've been sitting on, and I, don't, I was trying to wait for the last possible moment. I'll take 16. That's fine. Drew a back row. Okay. Good monster. Big monster. That is a monster. Unfortunately, it is a little bit too late. Just attack with Cerberus again, ideally. Oh god, another Reflex Slime. Shit. If you Spellbound, I'd have to read God Slime. How is God Slime summoned? You have to Tribute. But then I still don't technically have a way to kill it. Let me try this. I don't know if this works. We'll see. Oh, it does work. Okay. I have to cylinder this. I really wanted to save it for the, the big reflex line, but I'm dead here. Another monster. Okay, so end phase, we go Zoma. That's pretty good. 
Hold up. That's actually pretty strong. Okay. We take out the Cerberus. This is... <laughs> this is going to be a long uphill battle if we're going to win this one. Okay, so there's the slime. Okay. Makes sense. So we fog blade the slime. So that keeps that in check. Uh, should negate his effects too? Yes. Okay, so we can attack other things. Notably. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. I don't really want to give up Zoma because Zoma's like kind of a win condition. But honestly, I feel like Diabound is like too strong not to get established. That's a way we can actually end up killing the God Slime. I am scared for what this could be, so... We have to start hitting eventually anyway. Oh, they have that big ice jade in their graveyard, don't they? Yeah, this thing's huge. Okay, we're still big enough to kill this thing. Unfortunately, I don't think Diabound gets around the Gradle effects because I think they activate in damage step. So I don't think we can tag out to avoid. Oh, they're just linking. Okay. Oh, that's so dumb that that works. Uh, I think I have to kunai with chain now. No, I'd have to wait for the attack. Ooh, that's irritating. All right, let's try this. I actually think... Oh, but I still can't kill this thing by battle, right? I need a way to clear this. Man, that's annoying. What's actually crazy is that I can get Diabound above the Egyptian God Slime, but then I can't kill it in battle because it's a slime. If they full committed to the extra deck, then, like, Diabound can tag out. But they don't need to. We're kind of at this weird standstill. It's not going to do anything. See if they do anything with IP. They're going to. All right. What are we making? Unicorn? They're playing every other nightmare. I imagine Unicorn's in there too. Hold up. They just full sent. I'm missing something? Did they miscalculate? I'm fucking hoping they did. I had to set that staple and we're too low on life. I really hope that was a grave miscalculation because that may work to our benefit. They... No way we are going to win this. That's insane. Holy shit. That would have outed the slime too. Please don't be like Magic Cylinder. Uh, okay. Like. That kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do I flip the Staplin to protect Diabound? They didn't do anything last turn. You know what? I think we do this. I think we flip Staplin to protect Diabound. 
because now they need to have a giant thing, but they didn't do anything last turn. They just set a card and passed. So I don't think they're going to have anything this turn unless they draw, like, the best card in their deck. I think Diabound just, like, the key to how we're going to win this. I'm just going to attack with Diabound. I want to see what happens. I'm going to put this staple into defense. I want to play it slow because my life is low. They didn't do anything, but I'm just nervous keeping the staple in an attack. And maybe that's a bit too disciplined of me. Like, maybe I just have to go for it in this situation. But I have so much removal that I feel like I'm okay. I'm afraid if this is, like, Reflect Slime or something, then they summon God Slime and they can, like, weasel a comeback somehow. But Diabound's just threatening. I threaten lethal with it by itself next turn. Gotta have something. Another Candina. I don't have a way to chain block that, unfortunately. Candina can't trade here, but that's fine. I think I'm going to do what I did before and put the staple into attack. I have flashing fire to wall up if I have to. If I absolutely have to, I do have that as a last resort. So we weren't getting through last time anyway. Maybe they would have let it go and they'd be at 1600, but that's kind of hard to say. And if we went full send with everything, then like maybe we could have gotten in this turn. doesn't do anything. It's just a tuner. Black Rose? Oh, okay, I was about to say. No way. Okay, so I have to kill this. I'm almost certain I have to kill this. I just don't want to take the damage, honestly. I lose a battle phase, which sucks, but... That's pretty good. Okay, so here's what we do. Put him to defense. Diabound to attack. We summon Time Breaker. Banish their set. And we just pass. And I think as, we, as long as we can whiff a draw, I think we're going to pull this one out. I think we got it. I think we got it. This resolves. That's fine. There's probably something that I'm forgetting. I really hope there isn't. <laughs> but God, let's try it. I do need both of these. Oh, I can't attack. I forgot about the fucking thing. No. Oh, this is so bad. That's so bad. I forgot. I really have to stop forgetting that. I needed to go to battle last turn. Now they have a fucking window. Shit. Oh my god, they get to re-add Reborn? Are you fucking kidding me? Then they get to Reborn the Slime? Bomber Dragon's a problem. Thankfully, Bomber Dragon... Cannot clear anything because we have Dia bound. Oh, it just has to attack. I thought it has to blow up the monster. Fuck. Oh my god. I thought we fucking had this. I forgot about the stupid runic card. Yeah, it just has to... Oh man, that sucks. Oh, I'm going to be kicking myself over that one. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I have to remember the fucking runic card. Shit. Oh, we could have so fucking won that. I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm a bit salty after that one.
I'm salty because I could have won it. If it wasn't winnable, I wouldn't have cared, but it was. If I literally just had to go to battle phase, it's fucking labyrinth. I can't beat this. And try. Oh. It's not. Well, yeah, I don't think it's Labyrinth. Now they get to set. Oh, great. Here we fucking go again. <sighs> the problem is Azarune kills whatever kills it. So that's just frustrating. I meant to... Oh, man. I, I totally fucked this up. I meant to back up right of the Suprex to hit over this and then flashing fire this. But now that whole plan's gone. I, I'm just... I'm... Tilt! Oh, my God. Is it Salomon great? Uh, it could just be coder stuff. Oh, it's math mech. Like transcode. Well, that was fun. No extra deck is potentially a good sign. I was thinking this is self-decay, but... Are they trying to burn me? Oh my god, do I have to race a burn deck? Fucking dimension wall. Oh my god, I have to play against a fucking burn deck. Shit. Okay. This is not good. I know they have a dimension wall, which doesn't make this easy. I still think I need to summon this MK3. If I want to win this game, I think I have to. I can't summon this Mist Archfiend because that is a death sentence, but I think I have to go for the Sioux ship. Okay, please dimension wall this. Great. Best case scenario, they still lose the monster. Uh, I guess I'll set this. I don't think they're playing anything else. They don't draw because of Firecracker. This is the last card they have. 47, 57, 65. I can, I can kill them if that's not Dimension Wall. It's scary. I may not have a choice. Okay, so this is... 47, 57, 65. I could just summon Yagen if I want to be a bit safe about it. I just have to try it. I don't have a choice. Oh, thank God. We almost got reverse self decayed. What the fuck was that? Let's open some packs. Can we please get something good? Botanical Girl actually isn't the worst card. I don't know what our plant synergies look like, but this card is actually just like a recruiter, so that's fine.
Crebons! Oh shit, this is like one of the best tuners we could get because it protects itself. That's insane. I don't know if we have like many things to summon with this, but holy shit, that's nuts. Exo Sister card, can't use it. Tree Otter is not terrible, but unfortunately, we don't really have the synergy for it. Fabled card, not very good. Flamball Archer, not very good. Neo Parsh, we're never summoning that thing. What's this? Crusadia Magius. Okay, you know what? Botanical Girl and Crebons, though, actually two pretty decent cards, all things considered. Let's see what else we get in the Legacy Packs, and then I want to take a quick look at the deck afterwards. All right, two Legacy Packs. One of them hopefully has something good. Great, my upgraded dark energy. Thanks, game. Disarmament, terrible. All right, next. Naturia Vein. Ah, I mean, it's not bad. If we have like a little plant synergy thing going, that could be okay. All right, please be good. Brain Golem. I remember this card from Sealed Showdown. This card was actually pretty crazy, but unfortunately, I think we've got better tributes than Brain Golem. I guess it's a super, so we can't complain. I wanted to take a quick look at my plant synergies for Botanical Girl, and uh, unfortunately, our plant options aren't looking particularly strong at the moment. There's like okay stuff in here. I guess it's like the foundation of something. I also really want to throw in Krebons, but honestly, the only real six we have to make is... Uh, Kendama, because we can't make Chaos Beast with a Dark Tuner, unfortunately. Crebons is, like, okay, though, because it can, like, protect itself and, like, set up for, like, Tribute Fodder. I don't know. If I'm not feeling, like, the the Nova Summoner stuff, which actually I feel like has been okay, all things considered. I've never resolved Vylon Ohm once, though, so I really can't say. Um, maybe I'll reconfigure some things, but for now, I'm feeling the deck's okay. I really do want to throw in Crebons at some point, though. Crebons, I think, is really strong. This hand's actually not bad. This is pretty good. Normal summon Takatomborg. Oh, okay. All right. I was about to say, their hand's not that great if that's how they're starting things out, all things considered. But they're probably going to go into Cherubini and then, you know, do all their fun stuff. So let's see where this goes. I doubt I'm going to be able to out it, but let's see. Yeah, BA is going to be tough. Although, funny enough, I have Aether to banish Beatrice if that's what they end on. So that's very funny. They had plenty of extenders. Well, we really only have one way that this is going to work, unfortunately. Uh, so I guess we have to try it. Let's see what happens. Maybe this will force something. Wow, that is even better than it possibly could have been. Okay, cool. Okay. So the problem is Requiem can negate if I try to go for Aether. What if I just don't? What if I just sit on this? It's annoying, but that's fine. Last card in hand was Torn Scale. See, the thing is here, they have to pop 
either the MK3 or their own Fog Blade. Or they just give up. I'm not complaining. I'll take it. Whatever. Give me... Ah, uh, I wanted more legacy packs. Damn. Okay. Master pack, please. Come on. We got some okay stuff in the last one, all things considered. Karakuri Gold... What's with all the Karakuri cards? Guarded Treasure. Glow Moss. Black Illusion Ritual. Yosen Training Ground, which is the Yosenju card. I don't know why I'm looking at it. Meteor Rush Monocroid. I have never seen this card in my life. This is crazy. If only it didn't require five attacks to happen during this turn, that would be kind of sick. But sadly, yeah, that's that's not playable. Gaga got Caesar. It's an 1800. Marincess Wave. Be nice if we had some Marincess stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go to our legacy packs. Only one, so I'm not really hoping for a lot here. Forced Ceasefire. Um, this card's so bad. This card is so bad. No, I'm not even going to consider that. No. Predaplant. Need Predaplants for that. All right, one more for gold four. One more. I think I'm going first. That is not a good sign. Uh, this hand is not great. See how it goes. Pretty sure we lost the coin toss. So if they're forcing us to go first, this is not good. Unless they want to summon something with 8 jillion attack points and we magic cylinder them. I'm, all, I'm okay with that. I'm 100% okay with that. Or it's Dark Magician. Great. It's... Extra dark, dark magician. Okay, in true form, please whiff on the circle. That'd be very much appreciated. Of course. I feel like they probably already have Eternal Soul, all things considered. Otherwise, they wouldn't have done this play with Magician Souls, but... <sighs> I know they have Eternal Soul, so there's, like, no point in doing anything. Yeah, we're not we're not beating this. Sad, sad, sad. Well, this is good. World Legacy Secret has a target. This hand's actually like not bad, all things considered. I wish I had one more piece of removal. Or I'll just take a free win. That's fine. We take the disconnect. Gold four. New peak for the masochist. Two legacy packs as the reward. Say it with me, everyone. Master pack, 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 master pack. It worked! I can't believe it worked. Okay, this card's terrible, so it doesn't work so far. Guard go. Okay, bad. Uh, technically, this is generic, but I don't know if I would ever use this. Lyrilus card. Vendred card. I guess it's like kind of a zombie card. Zombie master. Speaking of... Wow, there's a lot of like zombie support in this, but zombie master is pretty good. And Hara is not terrible either if we actually get like other cards to synergize with this. And then, what is the super? Or it's an ultra. Uh, Galaxy Eyes Form or Photon Dragon, unfortunately, is way too specific for us. This isn't a bad payoff if we get a Galaxy Eyes card. Uh, something to rank up into Full Armor Photon Dragon. But we're a ways off from that being the case. Let's see what's in the Legacy Packs. That kind of sucked, all things considered. Skull Dog Marin, just 2k Vino. <gasps> Dust Tornado! Spell and Trap Removal! Oh, Dark Magician players, you are fucked. This is the best card against you because when you have up your stupid Eternal Soul, we're gonna Dust Tornado the shit out of it, and then we win the game. Oh, that is 100% going. That's like one of the best things we could have gotten from the Legacy Pack. Can we get a second? 
Can we please get a second dust tornado? I'll take the upgrade. That card's so bad. That card is also so bad. Okay, it's fine. We got dust tornado. Don't give a shit. Let, let's go to the deck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the golden age. We have Dust Tornado officially in the main deck. I took out level resist wall. I, I literally never activated it and I never really felt there was an instance where I wanted it. It sucks because it negates the effects of the monsters too, which would be sick if we could go into like time breaker or something, but I don't know. Like, I guess I could go into Nova Summoner if something dies, but it's just, it's kind of like a minus one. I don't know. I, I was trying to like be cheeky and it just it, it didn't seem like it was working in any case dust tornado a much better card you might see that we have three dust tornado over here two i believe came in the uh starter deck and obviously we're not allowed to use the starter deck card so that's why it says three but i really only have one but man is this a big upgrade now i don't have to auto fold to like decks that have back row sometimes so i mean we have tackle crusader but dust tornado is obviously way better so i couldn't be happier all right let us continue our journey through gold Stands pretty good. That's going to be a problem. Imagine this is... Oh, Chaos Ruler. Okay, yeah. That's better than Red Dragon Archfiend, I hear. Don't worry, you're not going to be needing that. Hot Red just straight up negates a card. That's annoying. We've got plenty of follow-up for next turn, too, it seems. I've got an idea. Fine by me. I'm hoping this baits out the negate. There we go. Okay, now we commence with the operation. We're gonna back to square one. The Beals. And then Parasomnia Pillow, the Hot Red. Now, the problem is, I know they have a bunch of shit that they can still do stuff with. They have a live Chaos Ruler. They got they got everything they need. So, we're going to see how this goes. End phase Druis Worm. We'll take a nice 3,200 attack token. They do get to draw off Maxi, which sucks, but it's fine. They break even on it, so it's not the end of the world. All right, now they have a million things in Grave. Uh, do they even have a light? Oh, they do. They have Chain Resonator. So they can summon Chaos Ruler back.
Yeah, they still got a lot of plays here. Poor Pillow. Yeah, this Time Breaker can't survive either. We're dead. Sucks. We had a decent hand, but that's how it goes. Oh my fucking god. What do I call off of reasoning? The only real deck that plays this card is Infernoid. So you're supposed to call one. But, like, a bunch of cheese decks play Reasoning, too. So, who the fuck knows? I'll call one. Oh, Dark Lord. Great. Oh, that's insane. Holy shit, that's nuts. I guess it makes sense for this deck, though. They're all different levels. I never would have called ten. I'll tell you that much. the fuck do we call now? Eight? I'm gonna try eight. Oh my god. Oh wait. That worked. We called it right. Oh, that's insane. I don't know if it's gonna matter, but that's still nuts. The problem is Ixchel has so much stuff to be able to use the effect of now. That's annoying. This is tricky. They have so much fodder for this x shell. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. I could just, like, summon this Hita and just try to hit over the Ukabak. I mean, if they want a Rebellion Hita, I am totally okay with that. Okay. Still got a ton of fodder, unfortunately. Is that the fusion effect? I know they have a fusion. I just don't remember what it does. I'm hoping it has some effect and I can just Draco Utopian Aura and steal it. That'd be like the best case scenario. It probably has some protection effect, though. So let's see. Are we going to get Giga Punished? Well, we're going to lose all our cards anyway, so yeah, sure, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take a 4,000 attack point monster. Sure. Thanks. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, sure. That is totally fine by me. Select cards to banish. <laughs> if you pass, I win. So, <laughs> we go for it. Oh my god, we just go for it. I literally don't care. I should not have put this in the Imperm column. That was a mistake. Please tell me this connects. Please tell me this <laughs> Oh my god! Thank you, the first Dark Lord! <laughs> Holy shit! I fucking love Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. Oh my god, that was insane. Let's open some packs after that one, everyone. Wow, 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 wow. That was fucking insane. <laughs>